morning and welcome to another vlog welcome to vlogadon day 18 wow i mean i have missed a lot of days i literally did up to like day seven i think i did up to i did vlog um day eight and nine but i just didn't end up uploading it i just felt like there wasn't enough content and it, i don't know and then after that i just got really stressed out with uni by submitting my final year project so basically my dissertation so i'm all good basically um but yeah basically i thought i'd vlog today um because it's a very very busy day let me put you down here somewhere it's a busy day today we're in dress shopping so i thought i would take you guys along with me can you see me yep so yeah i just thought i'd take you guys along with me it's a busy day and yeah i went little first show you a few things that i got um chili flakes because we were running out of some so, some basil leaves because i want to make that feta feta cheese pasta dish that went like viral on tiktok a while ago i made it i tried it once and it was good the second time was way better i just feel like it's so like now i feel like i've mastered it but it's really really good and i'm not even a, like a cheese person but it's so creamy and it's really really cheesy i've got some plum tomatoes these are my favorite tomatoes i've got a pack of those and i got a pack of uh, the normal cherry ones i prefer baby plum tomatoes than cherry but i thought i'd mix them up a bit um and i also put like a big one big tomato in it as well because i feel like it gives it um kind of like a barbecue flavor if you get what i mean because it's kind of like when i put it in the oven it kind of like i don't know i can't explain it but anyways i tried it with big tomatoes last time and it was it was okay because i didn't have any cherries anyways i got two uh greek feta cheese blocks um i think i'm just gonna make one for today and one for tomorrow because everyone's coming tomorrow tomorrow I'll vlog as well tomorrow everyone's coming over so yeah i thought i would make one today and make one tomorrow because yana loves cheese i think she's coming as well i'm not too sure um but yeah and then i got this which is so so good it's basically the miller rice juice from Lidl it's just a strawberry and original and this for sure is so good um it's really nice light but filling um and then i got vanilla ice cream because i'm gonna make a milkshake tomorrow for everyone and i thought it'd be nice to have yeah like i'm gonna have like make a milkshake and just add this to the other ingredients so it can be like nice so yeah i'm just gonna put these stuff away um and yeah that's pretty much it everyone's still asleep but that's why i'm a bit quiet um i'm gonna go with my mum and my brother's driving us there because it's far as outside london the place where we're going to try dresses um and mum was coming as well did she just message you all just left my house so yeah she'll be here anytime soon um and yeah that's pretty much it keep you guys updated as we go oh, as well i'm so so bloated which is so annoying like i hate the worst thing is when you're bloated uh during ramadan it's the worst thing ever i don't know it happens though it happens to me um because oh i have a spot there as well which you just got close off of and i have one over here but it's fine there it's me um but yeah what was i saying bloated i'm bloated and i don't feel good when i'm bloated I just feel sick. I can't explain it, but it's horrible. I hate it. Um, but yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave the tomato out. Unless you know. If I know. But yeah. I feel bloated. I don't feel too well. I'm going to try to get rid of it before I leave. Um, I, kind of, I don't know if you've ever had it. It's like that sick, bloated feeling. Um, usually, on a normal day, what I would do is stop eating. Which I'm not eating right now because I'm fasting. But I would go down on food and just have tea. I can't have tea to help, you know, everything. So, oh, I need to put that as well. Do you know what? Let me just deal with this and then I'll get back to you. guys so i'm back home oh my god like i didn't really film that much i was just enjoying the experience it was such an amazing experience um i'll put the name down here but 
the girl bless her the lady she i think her name is rana rania maybe is that mama i know anyways i think that's her name I'm not too sure but um she was amazing her customer service is so so good like honestly bless her she had like snacks and drinks on the table we were all fasting but just in case anyone's not she had like literally a coffee machine like a coffee machine like she had oh bless her all the dresses were gorgeous as well every single one i got to pick three um because of course we took uh, our time to try them on and i actually took a bit longer in the appointment but bless her, like i was concerned i was like okay let's let's try on another one quickly so like because i understand that she has other appointments as well after and things um but she literally did not rush me whatsoever like at all i felt like i had all the time in the world you know um it's currently 7 30 so if that is in an hour i'm gonna make the feta cheese pasta thing there's some leftover food from yesterday some like, little bit which is like rice chicken and vegetables um just gonna wash my hands i think i'm gonna stay in my abai for now because i might go out after with manwa um yeah that's pretty much it the dresses were gorgeous i'm uh, the thing is i was gonna film a few like a few of them there's one which i know i know it's gonna be my dress it's, it's the dress do you know what i mean it was the first ever dress i've tried on it's the first ever dress i saw it's that one i just feel like it's that one do you know what i mean um i was gonna show you guys the other ones but they're very revealing and I, what i'm gonna get is um i'm gonna have it up to here so a lot of the dresses are all revealing but they do them you know high and long um sleeves and high neck so um that's the reason they were a bit revealing i tried them all on with like a headscarf like style and like the same veil and oh my god guys you know the first dress i tried on i actually like cried a bit me and Manuel, we teared up um yeah it was so nice it was a nice experience and do you know what she made it the best like it's just i would 100 percent recommend just just the experience on its own you know it's so nice like i would pay just for the experience to try on the dresses with her <laughs> even if i'm not gonna get one but it's honestly like i i'm, I'm gonna send her something because i just feel like she was so nice and so welcoming that i feel like it's rude if i don't <laughs> um but yeah she's so lovely i just want to you know she's so sweet whether i buy a dress from her or not because i'm gonna go look somewhere else as well whether i get that dress or i don't or i get it from her or whatever i still want to send something um from me because she was so lovely uh but yeah i'm gonna go to the toilet quickly because it was a long journey we literally went to birmingham guys by the way it's in birmingham and i'm in london so it was a two and a half hour drive and subhanallah both ways going and coming back there was an accident um but the accident coming back wasn't as bad as the one going the one going was a really bad accident and there was like literally only two lanes on the motorway it was really busy but basically I'm, I, th I left mum I don't know where she is let me go check her and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit I'm just gonna update the vlog I feel like I really haven't vlogged at all but it's fine I'm just gonna upload what I have um tomorrow I'll film there'll be a lot to do tomorrow today basically I did the feta cheese um pasta it wasn't that great um because it was rushed I'm gonna do it again tomorrow because my sister really likes it um and then yeah we'll see tomorrow tomorrow should be better uh, we actually arrived back in London at 7.30, right, Mama? 730 mm. mm. So we had an hour, but then when I got home, I was just chit-chatting with my dad and everyone. And then all of a sudden it was 8 o'clock and yeah. I was like, oh my God, mm -hmm. we only had like 25 minutes left. Um, but yeah, that was it. Now me and Manuel are just chilling. Um, we're going to watch something. Um, we just had, we had a start as well. I forgot to show you guys. It was just all a rush, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but it was nice and we just had like some leftovers from yesterday and that feta cheese pasta that i made um we're just gonna watch what do you want to watch what have you decided on so it's between keeping up with the kardashians um twilight or I don't catfish you want to watch twilight yeah. okay we'll watch twilight <laughs> basically i like twilight so Manuel has never watched it um yeah. i don't know i feel like it's something that i liked before maybe yeah i'm re-watching it now i haven't re-watched it in ages though I, she's watched the first one how did you feel i feel like the first one i didn't i mean it was it was just okay. uh, it was yeah just, yeah it gets better i feel like, like. You know i don't know by the vampire diaries oh that was crap video. throughout the whole no it wasn't i don't think it no was i that hated bad. vampire diaries so much i don't think it was that bad <laughs> i think if you rewatch it now mm. you would I hate think it would be slightly entertained still maybe because you've watched it before oh do you know what everyone just kept dying and coming back to life and then <laughs> i was just lost 
Ugh, all the vampire diaries try and hate you right now. Yeah, probably, you know. There's a lot of them as well, you know. There is, yeah. A lot, a lot of people love it. I don't understand why. I literally didn't. And I'm the type, I watch, mm. I, I even watch Pretty Little, what's Lies, called Pretty, yeah. is it Pretty what? Little? Yeah, Pretty Little Liars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Anyways, I watched Pretty Little Liars, and I mean the ending was just ugh. But throughout <laughs> it, even though it was like the beginning, they were kind of dead ass. That the acting wasn't great. They were yeah, yeah it was the beginning great, of their careers. Right, yeah. The acting wasn't great in the beginning. Um, it was kind of like a teenage movie, but then it got mm. like serious. But then it got really, really good. Mm. And I feel like everyone watched it, and it just ended so badly. <laughs> I feel like they just dragged it on for. Me. They did. I feel like they didn't even they know who tried, A was. Yeah, I feel like they're just yeah. trying to write it. I feel like Gossip way. Girl. Have you watched Gossip Girl? Is it Gossip Girl? It's Gossip Girl. It's mm. so good. Oh, I watched Gossip Girl. I liked it. <laughs> I watched it like recently. Yeah. I think it was last year I watched it. I think it depends if you've watched something when you're younger or now. Mm. Vampire Diaries, maybe when I watched it when I was younger, I would have liked it. I watched mm. Teen Wolf and I, I kind of liked it back then. Mm. Whereas if I watched Teen Wolf now, I think I wouldn't like it. Same mm. with Vampire Diaries. I literally mm. ugh, I hated it. Oh. It was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna watch Twilight um and just chill and yeah. So I'm just uh wrapping my brother I just finished wrapping my brother's five figures for tomorrow. Oh guys, that is such a bad job. Okay. <laughs> it's not even the same side, the thingy. Oh it's what it is. Do you know what? I'm usually really good at wrapping and I usually really enjoy it, but I was on um I was voice noting uh, the girls group chat and I just was distracted <laughs> so yeah but it's cute I mean he's just gonna rip it off anyways but yeah